Make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Enjoy. What is up guys, how you doing? It's your boy Victor here with Thank You Gaming and today we're going to talk about my settings for hitting and pitching. So before we get into that, I kind of want to show you guys what I've been doing so far. First 10 games in and we have a record of 10 and 0. We've been grinding some difficult games back and forth. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. However, we've managed to pull through some comebacks, some good pitching, some good hitting, some clutch hitting, and we are 10 and 0. So I want to talk to you guys uh, what I have for my settings and kind of the way I approach the game. Before we do that, I kind of want to show you the, the standings um, and where I'm at. So if we look at the bottom, we look at the bottom. I have a rating of 486 <clears throat> and we're 10 and 0 but I want to show you guys my average is 400 if you guys can see that and then my ERA is 2.82 so 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 far we've been definitely lighting it up again it's been difficult games some tough tough opponents so it just makes things a bit more exciting and it makes getting those 10 wins in a row pretty pretty amazing and definitely feels good so let's go back and let's go to the settings so you guys can see what we got for settings now disclaimer guys this settings might not work for you all right the huge thing that there's a misconception uh especially in mlb the show is thinking that copying the approach and style and settings of other um mlb the show players it's like the the key it's like all right once i just copy that i'll, I'll be as good as them or I'll, or I'll do as good as them not necessarily if you're new to the game and most of you guys are that's why you clicked here you need to find what uh, makes you feel comfortable uh when you're playing playing the game but if you have no idea at all well maybe i can give you the settings i can talk to you uh, about my approach and you'll go from there so I'll, all i'm here is to help you guys out so for my hitting view we have strike zone now strike zone is very up close you oh, all you have is obviously the strike zone and i like it because it's just me and the pitcher there's nothing else um in the in the view that is going to distract me because i get distracted very 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 easy um, with strike zone, I go ahead and put hitting uh, interface at zone. Again, directional. You are you are leaving yourself up to pretty much the game decide what are what are gonna be hits and what are not gonna be hits. Early on, if you're trying to figure out the game directional, it's fine. It's that's it's only when you press X for contact and square for power. But again, you might see the ball hit the ball but it might not have the outcome that you want so zone is the more precise of that all right so it still gets a little uh getting used to however when you master it you are good to go we with that said the player coverage indicator which pci you're gonna hear that a lot ah oh, the pci the pci the pci was on it if you're watching streams or you're watching videos is on of course you cannot you need to have it because once you have zone the pci is that cursor that you cannot try to tr to put it where the ball is see ball hit ball and you're good to go however when you start the game you have the inner circle you got the outer circle and then you have three dots in the middle that you can have circles diamonds you can change this and put uh, whatever colors you want and different styles everybody's gonna tell you uh, that their style is is the style to go however try them all and choose the one that you feel is best for you what I feel is best for me is to take all of that out and just leave the inner circle for the PCI. Why? Well, the inner circle is going to be kind of that sweet zone in the bat. So if you get the ball there, you're going to drive it. You're going to get some hits. I've been getting a lot of perfect, perfect. Um, hopefully, MLB The Show and San Diego Studios don't come out with a huge patch because I think the game is playing well. 
And of course, I will say that because I'm 10 and 0. The moment I lose one watch, I'm going to be ranting on, on Twitter. Nah, I'm kidding. But basic, just a basic circle, color yellow, transparency 70%. I still want to see it because I want to see where I'm going to put it. But since we're using the strike zone and we are very close to the action, I want the I want to see the ball as much as possible. And, you know, with, with 99 and 100 sinkers, uh, there's a, a lot of ball movement this year uh, with those secondary pitches, the up speeds, the breaking balls. So I need to see um, what is going to help me and be able to recognize pitches and then put uh, put bat on the ball and hopefully we get uh, home runs and stuff like that so that's for that's for batting let's go real quick for pitching we're not going to go through all the settings just the important ones um so the pitching interface is pure analog this year they added the pinpoint pitching which is the most accurate one if you can master it now if you are not a competitive player you just uh, got into the MLB The Show scene. Doesn't mean you're a competitive person. What I mean is, you know, those veterans that have been competing a lot and those players that strive to be the top 10, top 50 type of players, I try to be the best I can and just play the game, win some games, grind, and, and all that stuff. But those players are going to use pinpoint pitching, and they're probably going to master it real quick. It's going to take time. It's definitely going to take time. However, I stay away from it. So far, I haven't used it. I don't I haven't you know, had the need to use it. Uh, so I stay with pure analog. Now, if you're not going to use pinpoint, don't use anything else. Go with pure analog. Um, I've been able to no pun intended, pinpoint pitches with pure analog and Again, yeah, people are people are good and they're gonna hit some balls and stuff like that. There's some times that I mess up, but it's not as much as pinpoint. If you are not, again, no pun intended, on point with pinpoint, the ball is gonna stay there and there's there's not there's no room for error. That's what I'm trying to say. So pitching interference is pure analog. The pitching view is pitcher. Again, is I'm I'm there in the action. Is is pitcher batter? I see the strike zone better. I see where I'm putting the ball. I see if I need to hit the corner, if I need to uh, just precise those um, those pitches in each corner, up, down, and stuff like that. So nothing crazy here, just pure analog and pitcher view for uh, the pitching view. And that's all the settings that I have. Pretty much all you need for me is those settings. And I think if you're starting and if you're looking for uh, – maybe okay I, I, you're looking for what's best out there i would say this is if you're looking for a change try this maybe maybe it works for you again it might not and if it doesn't please don't leave it in the comment section i'm already telling you that this is about preference and how you feel comfortable i'm just giving you my opinion and what i think is best so you guys have more options out there um mm -hmm. when it comes to my mm -hmm. approach Guys, it, it, it varies, all right? So for my approach, when it comes to, let's start with, let's start with pitching. First things first. For pitching, I try to uh, mix and match my pitches. Now, you have to, the first couple of batters are important. You need to see what they're chasing at, and you need to see if there are, putting their PCI in the lower in the lower third of the strike zone or in the upper third of the strike zone. When, once you realize where is it at, now you know where to go. However, the the way you're you're recognizing what their what their tendencies are, the same things they're gonna do with you. So don't fall in love if in the first inning you got Jacob DeGrom. He throws a hundred, a hundred and one. That person is late, late, late on fastballs. And you're like, you know what? I think I'm going to throw 100% fastballs the whole match. Be careful because it's easy to adjust, look fastball, and try to uh, early swing. And it's going to be a home run, and they're going to start hitting you. You need to uh, mix and match. Throw that fastball. Never start with the same pitch. And 
don't get repetitive. So it's it's pretty it's interesting because you kind of have to pitch the way they pitch in in real life. So know the situation, know who, what you're facing, see what what where they're struggling. So there's that's my approach because there's no really one thing that I can tell you um, <clears throat> that is the same for everybody. I, I guess don't leave it down the middle. Don't fall in love with the fastball and don't fall don't fall in love with the off speed down uh, at the lower third of the strike zone because those are the two things that they're going to recognize and gg trust me so that's pitching now hitting hitting is super interesting because uh, my approach is consistent but it varies depending who i'm facing so my thing is i'm looking for fastball so i want to say 90 percent of the time you're going to get a fastball first pitch depending on the pitcher uh the second uh, is going to be the sinker and depending lefty or righty mashups, they'll they'll sneak in the slider or cutter. So make sure you know who you're facing, and that's gonna decide what you're gonna look for. So I st I st I take the first couple of batters again to 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 see this person and see if they have any tendencies, what they're doing, and but I'm always always looking fastball. So for my right for my right uh for my right righties versus righties matchup. I put my PCI in the upper left uh, quadrant of the strike zone. Um, not as much, nothing, nothing like crazy, just there, because I'm looking fastball, and then I'll react to any off speed. So usually, righty righty, they'll throw the slider. So I need to wait a little bit deeper in the in the in the strike zone so I can uh, take it the other way, or they bring in down and in with a sinker or a two seamer, and I need to be quick to put that PCI down and, and smack that ball, maybe get a hit, maybe get a home run. Usually I do get a home runs like that. So again, a lot a lot of people will tell you, well put put the PCI in the lower in the lower uh, in the lower third of the strike zone and just uh, so you can rake against off speeds and breaking balls and just react to the fastball. It's tough to react to the fastball. Also Speaking of the fastball, don't fall in love with swinging early. I know people want to get to the fastball, especially if you're facing 97 to 101. I get it. Um, if you know for a fact you're going to get a fastball first pitch and it's going to be that high in velocity, go for it. But most people see that and they will adjust and they'll start um, throwing sliders, sinkers, and then your timing is going to be off. So again, just read the game, be patient, um, don't swing at everything, make sure that you play coverage and your discipline is on point. Uh, check swings are interesting this year. Uh, you will probably gonna get caught a lot for check swing uh, against you. Um, another, another thing that I do for hitting is, I try to see the situation. I'll give you guys an example. If I have a, a, a fast guy on first, I wanna say 90, to 99 I usually do this late late in the games I'll put my pinch runner 99 just because I know the pitcher is already gonna be thinking about that and they're gonna try to throw a fastball and it has happened many times that the first pitch is a fastball because they don't want the steal but they forget the hitter and then I hit I hit bombs another another thing is if you have a sinker pitcher and there's a and there's a double play situation know that they're going to throw a sinker so expect this so maybe put the pci a little bit low maybe mid not that high and react that to that bad boy in the lower half of the of the strike zone and if you're there again dingers singles stuff like that uh, another situation you have uh someone that throws a cutter righty to lefty they're going to throw that bad boy in so Make sure you lay off that slider in from a righty to a lefty. Make sure that that sinker in from a righty to a righty, you also try to lay off unless you know you can get to it. Move that PCI down quick and swing uh, for the fences. Uh, aside from that, the more you play, the better you'll get at. It's very situational, just like in real life. There's not one formula that fits all. Uh, there's different pitchers. There's different players. There's a lot that goes into into play But the majority for me is PCI up Waiting for the fastball 
and reacting to the breaking ball and off speed. So, anyways, guys, hopefully, hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully, those who are coming over from Xbox, those who are playing the MLB the show for the first time, you guys are getting into ranked seasons. That's like a, a a whole different monster. You're looking for some guidance. Hopefully, this video was of assistance to you guys. And again, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Twitter so you guys can see our rants, so you guys can see our videos, uh, little snippets here and there of, of the of the season that has been so far. Uh, make sure that you guys hit that uh, bell notification for our YouTube so you guys are up to date with our latest videos when we go streaming. Also, follow us on Twitch. Again, thank you guys for the support. On and on. We love it. Here at Thank You Gaming, we're all about MLB The Show. So just stay tuned for more videos. And again, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that share button. Just tell everybody about us. Anyways, guys, this is your boy Vic 38 and he's out. Deuces. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button. Promise you, you will not regret it. Also, watch our latest video and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch so you guys can stay up to date with our latest content. I'm out. Deuces.